snake is straight cool. Before I go broke like drop, with that dog like V. Not that rock, that P. How many down in my sock can't hold my Glock? Hey, what's happening, y'all? Got my boy Samori here. Put it out the coop at the lot. Talk about the club on the swap. Busting out the bells at the bottom. Shoot me. Let's get a lick with the body. Had to put the stick in the box. Pour up the whole damn seal. I'ma get lazy. I got the mojo deals. We been trapping like the A. some questions that y'all asked us um i'm gonna put the link to his highlights and everything down below but uh here we go so the first question is who would be the better db me <laughs> me for sure me. and we can we can try that out today <laughs> when we hit the field <laughs> um i'd probably say some more because i mean he was all district i stopped playing db like my sophomore year but uh I wasn't all that now, but I could, I could do a little something. He did a little something, a little something. We but, can, uh, uh, we can low-key do that. We can run one-on-ones at the field and then, like, post it to yeah. My. We'll definitely see, see a lot. See what, see definitely see, see a lot. See what's really going on. But if y'all know, y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm already coming off a little something, something, so. Uh, they don't want to hear that. <laughs> they don't want to hear that. We go. Uh, next question is, what's it like growing up with African parents? Uh... It's definitely it's different because different, uh, I don't know. I feel like I've always felt like my dad has always been more strict. I mean, I feel like with African parents, there's no bullshit. I mean, at least with my dad, my dad was always stern. My dad was always hard on me. So that's my experience. Yeah, my dad, my dad was hard on me to a certain extent, but I wouldn't say he was really strict. He kind of like, you know, always let me do me and trust me to, you know, do the right thing. <laughs> but like one thing we can both agree on, we were talking about this earlier. It just it brings a lot of motivation oh, yeah. having a parent that came here from another country and came here with nothing and like made their own way it kind of just forces us to you know succeed it's mando the next question is who do we both look up to growing up and why i'll let you go first nah that's a tough one i'll let you go first so i can think on it uh who, who did, I, I looked up. I looked up to my parents. Yeah, you know, I was about to say. You know, first and foremost. Go ahead. <laughs> looked yeah. up to my parents just because you know they were good role models for me. Like always, you know, they raised me. That taught me like what's right and what's wrong. So I looked up to them. Yeah, I don't necessarily say my dad is the main person I looked up to because every day it kind of goes into what we were just talking about. What's it like growing up with African parents? But I mean, I watched my dad go to work and work his ass off every day. I watched him put in the, the time in order to get what he needed done and I mean my dad's a boss so at the end of the day who else do I need to look up to besides the man that raised me Plain what are the similarities and differences in each of your like in each of our games Ooh, that's a good question who that one? Uh, my boy my boy Jalen shout out Jalen appreciate you my brother but uh similarities similarities uh I think we both like focus on the details a lot. Like we focus on the on the little things. Cause, you know, you know we, we both came a long way and once you get to, you know, like kinda like once you reach your potential, it's kinda just focusing on the little things, you know, like getting in and out of your breaks, you know, making sure you stack a DB, you know, stuff like that. But in terms of like the broad, like the overall arching things of our game, I would say we're we're very different. I would categorize Mori more as like a finesse receiver. More as like, he's really good off the line. He's really smooth, he's really fast, he's really quick. But in terms of me, I'm more technical, like getting out of the brakes. And you're a real body, you're a body your point yeah. before I will. Yeah. But also, I think we both, uh, one of our similarities is yak. We both can get good yak. We both, if we get the ball in space, we can make somebody miss and get, get the actual. Yardage. But also to add to that, I'd say in terms of how we get our yak is different. Like Maury, yeah. you're going to see him bust like a, a 30 yard run after yeah. catch. And me, I'll probably get like 10, maybe 15. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to juke somebody, yeah. make him fall. He, he'll, he'll juke somebody. Stiff arm. He, you know he loves a stiff arm. <laughs> yeah. So that's yeah. that's just what it is. Most memorable football experience. Shoot. Something that was memorable to me was the first game of the season last year mm. against South Dakota. That was tough. 
Yeah, it's like going, go, like leading up into the season, you know, in the off season, we were always in each other's ears, like, bro, this is our year. We gotta, we gotta dominate. We gotta, you know, we gotta do what we do. And then we came out that first game and we dominated. We both had over 100 yards. Uh, 300. We come on, combined for 300 yards. yards. I had, I had one touchdown. You had two. We, we both had a touchdown. You know, we just did our thing. And it was like kind of that that game that kind of you know gave us momentum for the rest of the season. I'll never forget, we were going up to the season, and me and Maury, we were like running our last couple routes during routes on air, and Maury was like, man, I feel like we about to go crazy this year. And uh, Sam, Sam was, he, he was listening, he was kind of like, ah, yeah, whatever, whatever, yeah, like, we go, yeah, whatever, but, but then. You gotta listen, <laughs> I be talking that real. <laughs> Boy, spoken into existence, for real, for real. Next question, is it hard being black in Montana? Uh. I definitely say it's a challenge. I, I would say it's not easy. It's different. It's different. Um, is it hard? Um, I don't know if I would call it hard because there's definitely different things out here that are much harder and much more difficult than yeah, being black. Yeah, there's, but there's definitely places like other places where it's much harder to be black than here. Yeah, but you know? I would say it's definitely a challenge. Yeah, it, it's just you gotta you know always kind of you know be on your on your on your P's toes, be on your p's and q's, you know. Especially just being a football player too, you gotta pay attention to how how you represent yourself and your team in public. You can't be out there wild and doing you no know, crazy stuff because it'll always come back to you. Definitely always come back to you. <laughs> always gonna come back. You know to that. You. <laughs> uh, I got a question from my dog Johar. He said, "Why do you suck at 2K?" Um, to answer your question, hey, that <laughs> question was directed at him. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I, mean. I would just have to say, shoot or shoot. I'm a scorer, so I mean, I mean, y'all be trying to say I suck, and y'all be trying to say I'm not good, but I mean, he just messes up the flow of the offense because every time he gets the ball, he doesn't do anything. I'm gonna just get to the cup. I'm look for the cup. I'm gonna just get to the cup. But to answer your question, why he's not the best at 2K, I'm gonna cut him some slack because he never really, he hasn't played 2K since what? 2K, 2K like 12, 13, 2K 12, and then so. he wanted to come back 2K 20 and think he was gonna be raw. Like no, <laughs> nah, but That's everybody tried to. Y'all tried to expect me to get back on and just be like, <laughs> just step in there, and, <laughs> just step in there and do what it do. But like, it's not like that. So like, cut me some slack, bro. Next question is, why did you choose Montana? So, well, for me, <laughs> I had limited uh, options for both of us. That's what's crazy yeah. too. That's what's crazy too. Given where we are now, is like, Maury wasn't even on a full scholarship when he came in. And me, like, I had, this was my only offer. So a lot of people ask me, like, what made you choose Montana? I had no other option but Montana. Yeah. So I was, I mean, that is what it is. Like me, I had, like, preferred walk-on offers from Oregon, Oregon State, and Washington State. And I was, I was heavily considering those. And then I had an offer from Georgetown, Air Force, and then a tuition scholarship here. And this was, like, the last visit I went on, like, a, like a week before signing day. And when I was out here, it kind of just sold me, like, the community, how everybody was into football, how everybody was really, like, invested. So, that kind of just brought me here. Lack of, other, lack of other options, I was like, okay, this is a good opportunity. Make the most of it. Yeah, combined with the lack of other options, um, I, I was already going to commit before I took my visit. But once I got out here and saw the fan base and saw how crazy everybody was about just the football and just how crazy everybody was in the community, um, there was no other place for me to go. What's, what is our favorite part about game day in Wagris? Running out of that tunnel. Well, there's, there's so much to so it. Much. Running out of the tunnel, especially for the first time, something you'll never forget and it never gets old every single time you do it. And then shit, scoring touchdowns. Yeah. Dude, when, you, when you hear those fans yell, when you score a touchdown, uh, there, there is nothing like it. I mean, looking up, I mean, 
looking up in those stands after you scored a touchdown and just seeing everybody go wild, especially in the north end zone. I mean, crazy. If a lot of y'all don't, a lot of y'all probably do know about the north end zone because a lot of y'all are probably Grizz fans. But a lot of for the people who aren't from around here who don't know about the north end zone crazies, it's real. It's real. What's your favorite route to run? Especially when you get press man, it's, it's rare, but when you get press man, no safety help, it's like, yeah, chop that up. I'd probably say my favorite route to run probably be a post. Um, you like that, man. Your head yeah. <laughs> I always think of this clip of when we played Idaho my our retro sophomore year and I had a touchdown on a post. It was like, that was the perfect. It was the that one. Was it was the one. Perfect ball, perfect everything. But uh, yeah, I'd probably say a post. Um, post would probably be my favorite route. Any plan of kneeling during the anthem if and when the college football season resumes? So the thing about that is we actually don't even have the opportunity, excuse me, we actually don't even have the opportunity to kneel because we're in the locker room whenever yeah, the, like, the- Any, any, no college football, I don't think any college football team is out on the field during the national anthem. We're, we're usually in the locker room. So we we just hear the music, we just hear the music, but we're not really out there. So that's kind of dead, bro. Yes, it's dead for that one. Appreciate the question, though. Um, what's y'all's pregame routine? We have completely different like approaches to a game. Like me, I never, I don't really have like I have a routine that I do, but I don't have like a certain thing that I. I just try to stay laid back, loose. You know, talk to guys like kind of just you know get the feel of it. Sam, Sam's a complete opposite. Sam, don't try to talk to him before a game. He's going through his shop. Like, bro, like what's up? Like, nah, you know, like I, but then I learned just nah, I don't even. I just let him do him. And then when the game starts, then that's when we. Because I feel like I feel like my retro freshman year when I didn't perform very well, I was a little too lax pregame, a little too relaxed, trying to talk, trying to laugh, and that's not really me. I mean. I like to listen to my music. I got a certain you, couple of songs I listen to. We both, we both the headphones in all the whole but time. I got a couple of songs I listen to. Um, I'm gonna put my stuff on in a certain order. I'm gonna do my stretches in a certain order. I'm gonna do, yeah. like I kind of got, it is a routine. So I mean, and that's what works for me. So it is what it is. Good question, who was that? My boy Ike. Appreciate you. Ike. Appreciate you Ike. Um, next question by Ike too. Why did y'all choose those numbers? Uh, well for me, I came in as number 19. I was 18 in high school, and I came in at 19, and then after my registered freshman year, I was like, hey, can I get 18? And they gave it to me. So it was really just what I was used to based off high school, and it was just natural. But I feel like he has a little better reason of why he has his I number. mean, yeah, like, when I came in here, I, I got, I was number 82, most of you probably know. Uh, just 82. I, I, I never like I, I liked 82 it looked good but I wanted I always wanted a single digit and like my retro freshman year a good season retro sophomore year kind of shaky <laughs> <laughs> but it was definitely below average below what I expected for myself so that was kind of just it was kind of like a mind thing for me kind of mindset like you know I want a single digit anyway and I also like I, just, I switched to eight and I wanted to keep you know some of that and I didn't want to totally you know just abandon it because it's still like it still brought me really far, but I, I needed to switch just for my mindset, bad juju type thing. And I just y'all see. Switch it up. Switching that mindset. Yeah. Change a lot of things for somebody like. Um, this is also by my boy Ike. How is it being one of the few black yeah, students Ike. at Montana and desperately Damn, Ike. and so crazy. and specifically as an athlete? So how is it being some of the few, some of the few black students at Montana and specifically as an athlete? Um, I feel like we definitely stand out. That's one thing we talk about a lot of times is uh, when people see us, they, the first thing they ask is, so um, 
Do you play ball? Do you play football? Like, yeah, like usually for me, people, because I'm, you know, I'm a little skinny. People always, and I'm kind of tall. People ask me, oh, you, they just assume, oh, you're a basketball, basketball. player? How's the basketball season looking? Sometimes if I'm feeling, if I don't even feel like, you know, <laughs> having that conversation, I'll just be like, yeah, you know, basketball season's looking good. <laughs> you know, we're going to go crazy this year just to play it off, you know. No, I have never lied to nobody. <laughs> I've never like, yeah, we, we go okay. I'm like, nah, I'm a football player. I mean, I appreciate you, but yeah. I'm a football player. But I mean, it, it's cool. Yeah. It's kind of like everywhere you go, like people just assume you play a sport. Like, yeah, I don't have to play a sport, but yeah, we do. <laughs> we definitely do. What is your favorite thing about football? That's tough. I'd say the the, the process for me. Yeah, uh, I love the process. I love working. I love putting in the work. I love. Yeah. I love knowing I'm not perfected something. So knowing I. Knowing I haven't perfected something so that I know I need, I still have something to work on. I mean, I love just putting in the work, yeah, personally. I love the process. Also, like for me, it's all the people you get to meet, like all the teammates you get to meet and become close with from like so many different areas. Relationships. Like without football, I would never, you know, be like friends with dudes from like Montana. I would never meet him in the first place. So like, it just brings a lot of people together. So definitely. That would, definitely. Next question is, what's your favorite non-football activity? I don't, I mean, <laughs> I get this question sometimes and I, I don't really know what to say because like, I don't really do nothing but football, yeah. But See, that's the thing too, like, I don't even, I game sometimes, like I'll go through phases where I'll game a lot and sometimes I won't game yeah. at all, like, yeah. so. Watching Netflix. Netflix. Uh, right now it's in the summer, so floating the river. Today. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's there's a few things, but also like one thing y'all gotta understand is like I love Montana, but there's not much to do out here. So in terms of non-football activities, there's not Montana's much. Montana's not gonna like that. Right now. <laughs> All right. So next question is, what do we think of the Bobcats? And uh, F T C. I mean, I mean, what do you mean? What do you, what do you, I mean, look at this. What, what do you mean? What do I think of the Bobcats? You, you think? You already know what it is, like. And this is crazy because, like, when I when I came here, you know, I didn't really. I didn't. You can't all. coming from out of state. You can't really understand the magnitude of the rivalry. You know, they hate. We hate each other, but like, you never really know. Because I'm from Oregon, so Oregon, Oregon State, that was always a big rivalry. But out here, it's it's just different. Real. Especially like Real. our redshirt year, we weren't even playing. We're in the stands. And you can feel the hate. Yeah, and we, and we always had the, the the trophy, you know, touching it, touching it, touching it. Kind of took it for granted because now it's just like, no, it hasn't been here. For but like a I said, like our, our red shirt freshman year, you know, our freshman year, uh, you know, we lost, and just seeing just seeing them storm, like they stormed the field, they were stomping on our logo, they were spitting on it. They were, you know, the amount of disrespect. They were yelling all kinds, of, and that from then on, I was kind of like, okay, I see, I see what type of time we're on. I see, I see, I it. see what's going on. I feel it. For my boy J. Cal, favorite shout out my boy J. Cal. <laughs> That's my brother for real. <laughs> Two time. <laughs> favorite touchdown. Go ahead. Hmm. Well, I feel like I got a few because I, I mentioned the one about from Idaho that post, but also I had one against Portland State where yeah. I ran away from everybody. So for all y'all who think I can't, I'm not fast. That's like where that. he almost tore his shit. Bro. Man, he man. got way too hyped. Hey, man. put the put the clip. I'll in, put the bro. clip. In put there. the clip. In. <laughs> he was ah, oh. Um, deep over the middle, he's got a gap. Now a foot race. 40, 30, 20. 10, see you on the other side, Samuel LeKemp, 76 yards. Yeah. He was like, oh shit, like what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was crazy. I remember going on the sidelines. I was like, man, if I just yeah. After that, <laughs> after that, Coach Peace told me, hey, you gotta chill out with the celebration. <laughs> What's your favorite touchdown? Mm. That boy had so many, he don't even know. That's tough. Uh, probably that, probably that last one against Sila. This guy's been so impressive this season. Third and long now for Snead. Deep ball. Two rays open. He's got it inside the ten, and he has another touchdown. Samori so Toure does it again. 
the the heist bro. Yeah, that, that, heist that was so hard. Yeah, that, that was so hard. That one it was just you could it was since it was a playoff game too. Mm-hmm. It was electric. Green. Who green? Who? Oh whoa 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 whoa! We all still know who Trust me, you did. Uh, we don't do that. Well, okay. I'll just answer this real quick because this one's based on me. It said, what did I do to my foot? Um, I tore a ligament in my foot and I had surgery. And yeah, I'm good now. So, appreciate you. Next question. What's your favorite NFL teams and players? So, based, I'll give you guys a rundown of who Samori's favorite NFL team is. Who won the Super Bowl last year? Stop. There you go. Or who had over 500 record? Who had a, a really good record? Who was really good last year? So, the Ravens, the Chiefs, uh... Pretty much it. They like to call me a bandwagon. No, no, no. He is a bandwagon. I'm we don't like to call him a bandwagon. Man. I'm not a bandwagon. I just, you know, I switch it up from time to so time. So who's your favorite player, though? Ooh, favorite player? That's tough. I got a lot of favorite. I, I might have to go with Stephon Diggs. He, he knows that. Yeah. They, they all know that since since I got here, bro. Stephon is just, he's just different. different. The way he runs his routes. And he's, he's really slept on, too, why, why I like him. Because he doesn't get all that hype that all the other receivers get, but he deserves it. I'd say my favorite player is probably Devontae. Um, I've really fallen in love with, excuse me, gosh. The way he runs routes, the way he just, just his releases, everything, like, He's a real technician and um, he's he's really unguardable to be honest. But my favorite team, who would you say? Devontae. My favorite team is uh, the Cowboys. Y'all know that if you really know me, you know Cowboys, America's team. We on the way up this year. Dak, appreciate you. Dak, gonna take us to the promised land. What are your plans after you get your degree? Um, well, so I'm I'm supposed to get my degree in December. So if everything goes good with our season and everything, I will be getting my degree and then I'll be training for the NFL, which is same. probably the same thing Moore's doing. And uh, so really, after I get my degree, it's really deciding on where I want to train at. Well, really, it, you don't know because I got to see how, my, how the season goes and everything, but um, if everything goes as planned, I should be picking out a facility to train at and doing all that good stuff. So, yeah. The, starting off the... The process, the real process. That was our last question. So uh, I appreciate y'all asking all the yeah, questions. Appreciate the questions, y'all. Appreciate y'all tapping in and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what y'all want to see next. Uh, if y'all want to see more route videos, more videos with some more. If y'all want to see more videos with my teammates, just let me know. I know y'all want to see me. <laughs> appreciate y'all.